Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about first impressions of the Spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes brush collaboration. But while I've got your attention, like this video if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe. It really supports me. It's a great place to be if you love all things beauty. I'm a pro makeup artist of 16 years and a beauty blogger, so I share my insights and industry tips with you straight from the horse's mouth. So if you like cool, feminine, fun, easy to follow on looks, well, you're in the right place. So let's get to it. So these arrived yesterday. Very excited. I've been umming and erring about buying them. I think they retail at 100, let's check. These retail at 159.99. That's 25 brushes you get in the complete set. So it works out about six pound 40 per brush if you break it down like that. So, shall we have a little look inside? Should we appreciate the box for a minute? So this is Katie Jane Hughes. Actually, she's all over this box. So she is an editorial and fashion makeup artist uh, from Stockport, I believe, and li now lives in New York and works with some incredible celebrities um, as well. And she does really inspirational kind of like editorial looks on her Instagram page. She really broke the barrier of kind of professional fashion makeup artists anyway, getting into Instagram more, kind of like opened and broke down. She opened that gate basically. And it's kind of not your typical Instagram makeup. It's very fresh, dewy, AKA quite my vibe. So really appreciate that moment they've given her on this. And on the side of the box, it says taking inspiration from art store painter brushes, as that's what makeup is after all. Very true. So let's open it up. Oh, this is exciting. Ooh. So there's a little cute card on there, just telling you all about the um, inspiration behind it. And I love the olive green, gotta say. I like a timeless classic. So a lot of makeup artists whilst working will wipe their brushes on a towel as they work so it's a really nice detail to have that in there um, i work with one on my lap quite a lot of the time just so i could rub my brushes and excess product off my brushes that's a really lovely lovely detail to have that and then this is the case it comes in so it's a real makeup artist on the go travel case basically and i love that you can see into them so you can just find and know what your brushes are like super easily and it's a nice popper lid so you can either have it hanging out on one side or you know pop your dirty brushes on one side whatever as you're working which is really nice here are the babies so they all are individually wrapped in plastic and some also have like a netting over them that basically keeps all the fibers really safe upon traveling. In my professional makeup kit, I don't keep any of these things. I know some people like to, cause it shapes the brush, but I shape my brush when I wash it basically. So I don't personally keep those, but I know it's suggested to some people that you do. Let's open them up. I'm gonna start with complexion brushes first. I'm gonna pop those in the other bit. Let me get them all out and I'll come back. So I've arranged the brushes into two pots. So I've got more of my eye detailing brushes, potentially some smaller detail complexion brushes, and then more complexion based ones here. So let's take a look at the complexion ones first. You have seven complexion brushes. Then there's these kind of smaller two, which again, I'll talk about those in a second, but you have a real mixture of shapes. All the bristles, it doesn't actually say. I know all of Spectrum products are vegan as well. So you've got a real mixture of products here from, and you can, the beauty of this is that you can use these in a very multi-use way. You can use these slightly more solid ones for a really nice contour or to really like blend your foundation in to get a really smooth kind of look or like a cream bronzer, that'd be so lovely. So much you can do with them. They all have different densities to them. So as a rule of thumb, the softer the brush, 
the lighter deposit of product, the, the more dense the brush, the more dense the application of product. So that's why you've got these kind of stippling brushes as well, because those just blend products really well. If you struggle with blending, those are really lovely brushes to go with. So they've got like a two tone, so you've got like a slight cream layer, and then you've got a white bristle to really give you that, that airbrush blend, basically. Then you've got this brush here, which would be lovely for like blusher, cream or powder. I mean, I can't tell you how soft these are. These are like chinchillas. And then you've got an angled brush here, so that's really nice. Again, for either blusher and that kind of lifting shape or a bit of contour, bronzer. I just love how thought out all of these brushes are. You can really tell that a makeup artist had input into this set i mentioned earlier these are really good for airbrushing products in so whether it's cream liquids or even powder products as well these blend a powder foundation really beautifully good for cream bronzers blushes this is like really exciting to me and what's really nice about this set is that if these are for you personally as a makey makey as a makeup junkie you've got enough brushes to kind of last you a week before you need to kind of wash them, which I think is really, really genius and so important to keep them hygienic and kind of in good condition. This is more your kind of traditional foundation brush, but it's a smaller size. And that's because it's gonna give you a bit more control about where you can place product basically and how much coverage you can really um, get from it. Because realistically, generally speaking, you'll want more found, like more coverage around like the nose, chin, under eye, and potentially on any blemishes. So that kind of does everything for you. Equally, this is really nice to apply a really snatched kind of contour kind of look as well. Super dense. Again, really soft though. When these two brushes, these are kind of my fave. I think, are these two the same? Yeah. And I love that. This is two of these brushes, which are the same. These are fantastic. This is like, this shape of brush is like the, ah, the god of the brush world because it does everything for you. If you lost all your brushes and you only could have one to replace, like this is the one because the shape of it, you can do eye makeup, you can do blend a concealer, you can blend in a foundation. Granted, it'll take a bit longer because it's smaller. And this is what I particularly love these for, is really spotlight powder, just really, really matting specific areas on the face or even applying highlighter. Like this brush is so universal. Again, really, really soft, really nice kind of tapered. I guess it's like a mini version of these two. If those had a baby, this would be it. A little baby hello. Um, so you've got complexion brushes for kind of everything. And you've also got that smaller version there. So this is where this kind of can go into either eye territory or complexion territory. But uh, yes, yeah, so that can either straddle in eyes or complexion territory because it can, you know, blend eyeshadow really beautifully as well as concealer and the kind of stuff like that. So yeah, that's really lovely and it's really nice and soft. Well, this one, this can be multi-used in a number of ways. This could make a really lovely big lip brush to just apply your lipstick really, really quickly. Or it can be really great for painting on a base of eyeshadow because it's so firm, it's gonna press on your product like <clears throat> beautifully or just really building concealer where you need it. So love, love, love. Do you think I like it? Yes, I do. Again, just loving the thought process behind the brush. I mean, the color of the brush, the lacquer, the detail, when it's all pinched and finished, these are really luxury. They are, yeah, you're luxury, baby, and I love you. So these are a range of brushes for eyes, detailing, finishing, cleaning up, correcting. And they all have very different shapes and some of them are kind of grouped together in different sizes to really get the most of what you need it to do. So let me pop some down and I'll talk you through them. So you'll see like families of shapes come together. So these are really good for packing on color. Like this is much more, these are soft but dense. So you can do a whole eye makeup really easily with these. Well, this one is a little bit thinner as well. And this one is thinner again. So this is really good at kind of doing something quite painterly on the eye. So these are really good for like packing on color, building on pigment, washing them out because they're quite a bossy brush. They're really, really firm and just love the shape of them. The bristles aren't too long, so you get a real good contact. So think of this like pressing in eyeshadow with a finger in a way. Yes, yeah, so I think of it like really pressing in eyeshadow with a finger. So this is the next lot of brushes. So these are fully round while these were kind of flat and pinched. These are fully round. So this will give you really nice socket line detail, lower lash line detail, 
crease i've just said that but i said socket again really nice and soft they're not too hard and scratchy so these are like this is much firmer than these this is more of a smudger these two are a bit more of a smudger i'd say because they're a little bit firmer so these would be really good for blending out a cream or an eye pencil to really soften and smooth everything and these will be really good at blending things out so you get that kind of detail and depth where you want it and tickle it away and this brush here is like a hybrid of the two i've just spoken about so this is the i've been so rubbish at not telling you brush numbers but this is the number 11. So this is like a hybrid of these two it's kind of round but then it's flat at the same time so it's a hybrid and i love these sorts of brushes for concealing or like applying a cream eyeshadow or any eyeshadow formulation to be honest and it just blends product really well it's lovely all of these softer blushes also are really nice for that blurred kind of lip edge kind of look. Love. I mean, very excited. And here we've got a load of detailing brushes. So this brush here, I know um, Katie and a ton of makeup artists use this to kind of clean up an edge. So whether that's like a brow edge or an um, eyeliner, this is the number nine. So you can just use it dry or pop a bit of moisturizer on it and it'll just give you that really sharp edited line, basically. It's really good. And you can actually use it to stamp on you know you could do your brows with this or whatever it's a really nice dense and short brush so it gives you that real precision in what you're doing and editing is really editing is a key in makeup makeup is never really that perfect and this is so they come with these kind of plastic lids try and keep them if you can because obviously it keeps them really safe once they're stored but yeah, they're easy to lose aren't they i love this double-ended brush spoolie and then like a brow product so you can draw really like, really fine hairs or equally do really like detailed eyeliner with that absolutely brilliant i always have like mixed views on a double-ended brush but in this sense it makes sense because you're not gonna this side is like really firm so it's not gonna get stuck so it's not gonna like splay your brush ends that's that's the reason why a lot of the time i don't like a double-ended brush but that makes sense and even like the weight like it goes from a slightly thicker to thinner just to give you that good weight and kind of really comfortable to use and to brush 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 then there's another kind of square brush so again this can be used as a cleanup brush also this can be used to really detail a line this will be really good for giving you like straight lines in your makeup so whether that's in the brow even the lip to give you a really sharp edge because it's got that long edge it'll really allow you to kind of pull it'll act like a ruler as you're going if that makes sense it'll give you a good guide of what you're doing literally these are like art shop brushes a lot of makeup artists do shop in art stores for brushes because they've just got the perfect brush and at very low cost generally well depends on the brush right and then we've got two signature brushes oh this one's got a loose loose hair on it that'll need to be got rid of because that'll give you an awful line these are super skinny so this is to do beautiful Casey's really known for her like really winged out pulled out eyeliner so this gives you a lot of bend in what you're doing good contact with the skin and you won't get that annoying flick where things kind of ripple on the eyes a little bit. So yeah, do try and keep the covers for those if you can, but I mean, no one's perfect. We lose things. And when you get these detailed brushes, a lot of the time the brush will be really firm because they put an agent in there just when it's traveling to keep it really safe. So when you are like washing them and stuff, you do really want to like be pinching them. I just love the size of that one. So this brush is thinner. So the number 24 is thinner than the 22. 22 is a little bit thicker. It's got a real nice tapered end to it. It's not like a sharp square. They're both kind of fully round, so they'll give the, they'll again allow you to get that really thin, precise line or build it up, or you know, you can use it wherever in the brows. There's so much you can do with them. So, those are my first impressions and thoughts as a makeup artist pro myself. Looking at the brushes, having a feel of them, I can really understand how they're going to work. If you are a real novice, these might really intimidate you they actually do uh an 11 set brush which i think might be better for you so with the towel what happens a lot of the time is that you'll be say you'll be using a blusher or something you'll just wipe the excess on and then you can like blend in your bronzer we you might just have too much product on so rather than using a tissue kind of wastefully and bidding it you're at least you know you can wash this super easy i mean if anything as a makeup pro I would like a couple of more of these in the set or like maybe this could be smaller so I could wash them. I can't really kind of multi-use these on people. Like 
I'll have to use like one towel per job kind of thing. So that's the only thing I'd really say. But apart from that, love them, love them. And I still love this, it's gorgeous. So that's my thoughts on the brushes. Will you be getting a set? Are you tempted, my friends? If you're a true makeup fanatic, budding makeup artist, these are a great way to have that stepping stone into having a lot of brushes, having a really good set of staple brushes. And I love that you get the brush holder included in that too. I mean, that's just genius, genius. I think these brushes also are fantastic for those looking to either get into makeup or pro makeup artists because every brush is really thought out. Like if I was on a job, if I was doing an event makeup with a couple of clients, like I could paint essentially three faces with all of these brushes, which is amazing. You just got options in there of stuff you can do and they're so versatile in what you do. So let me know if you're tempted, if you're gonna get some, because I'd love to hear your thoughts on it too. If you've got any questions, please drop them below. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over there and follow me too, because I do much more daily content on there as well as this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it was a bit of a different style to what I normally do. It's a bit more like talking to camera, using some tips and tricks, and just my first thoughts and impressions. Really appreciate you supporting me. Have a lovely day.